Hi, I'm Dennis Flanagan. I'm a clinical dentist in Connecticut, USA. Now you know dental implants are placed endosseously, and the bone is the ultimate bearer of the occlusal load. Bone has a structural capacity with limitations, and it can be overloaded by the occlusal forces. Various patients are not uniform in the maximum bite force they can generate, and the occlusal biting load in the posterior jaws is usually about three times that found in the anterior. It is possible for the supporting implants to be overloaded by the patient's biting force and result in bone loss and failure of the fixture. Now some patients can generate extreme biting loads that may cause the luxation of the fixture and subsequent loss of integration. A patient with a low biting force may be able to have a successful long-term outcome even with poor anatomical bone qualities. Patients with a high bite force capability may have an increased risk for late component fracture or even implant failure. After a biting force measurement, a qualitative judgment can be made by the clinician for the selection of an implant diameter and length and prosthetic design based on the patient's load capability. There are several methods to measure a patient's biting force capability. A proprietary method seems to be the most convenient and inexpensive. It involves a sensor embedded in a tape that is inserted between the patient's teeth and the area to be measured, and the patient is then asked to bite down with full force. The sensor is contained in a soft pad so as not to damage the patient's dentition and to give it a comfortable, compressible block. There is software that registers the patient bite load and gives a readout. There's a wide variety of patient capabilities, some as little as 50 newtons, others as high as 100, 1,200 newtons. The patients with low bite force may have much longer prosthetic longevity, while patients with high bite force may experience implant failure or component uh, failure. The measurement of a patient's bite force capacity may be an important uh, parameter to use during treatment planning. Bite for force measurement can be an important preoperative parameter to ensure a long-term functional and aesthetic treatment outcome.